Such presentation uh, actually give students very important tips. When you're choosing a world theater tradition, just make sure it's on the list given by the IB. So the IB has selected titles for the world theater tradition. So choose something that you're passionate about. Uh, for example, there are students that uh, they come from probably uh, a world where they dance a lot, and, and, and the student probably loves dancing. Uh, I actually recommend look out for what you're passionate about. It is not uh, uh, important that you know the world theater tradition, and that's why it's called unfamiliar. So you need to look for something that you've never looked into before, uh, an unfamiliar world theater tradition topic, and research into, into it. Now, the other mistake students do is that the exact information they get from the research is what they put uh, in their criterion A. When you study, when you read, how does that research communicate to you? What do you understand uh, from the research that you get? Uh, when you look at when it was, which era it, it, it started, how did it develop, how is it today, uh, who does the world theatre tradition, in, in what context, uh, in terms of you know, culture, uh, political background, in what context is it performed? So you have to look into that. And what does that mean to you? How, what does this world theater tradition mean to you? When you read this information, what does it uh, mean to you? Then when you go to a uh, physical exploration, sometimes you're going to realize that you don't know how to perform that convention that you have chosen. So you have to use other styles and techniques within uh, uh, the drama umbrella, for example, stage movement, facial expressions, maybe gestures. You have to, do, to use drama exercises and, and, and activities to fine tune uh, your skills and know-how of using this convention, right? So once you know how to do that, for example, if it's uh, uh, body movement or legs movement in no theater, then you use a different theater game to help you move around your legs uh, so that you can be able to portray that convention. Once you've understood how to portray, the, uh, to, to portray the convention, then you use those conventions that you've already understood in an existing world theater performance and you do it on stage, right? Uh, of course, uh, uh, before this, we used to do it in front of a live audience, but now you don't have to do it in front of a live audience. And then uh, lastly is feedback. So you have to reflect. Reflect on the process of research. What do you know now about this world theater tradition that you did not know before? And then, uh, uh, when you are doing the, the practices and you are learning those conventions and the movement or the facial expressions or uh, the pantomime, for example, who are you now as a performer? What have you understood? Are you, uh, have you become an improved actor or actress? Are there things that you've understood and you've grasped from this world theater tradition that you think you can use in future, uh, probably in a different uh, you know, uh, theater performance or something of the sort? Uh, what's the feedback that you got probably from the teacher or from the people that were watching uh, your performance? Because that feedback is very important. And last but not least, use your process journal. The process journal helps you to, uh, it helps you uh, to really put up a very good report. Well. Those are wonderful tips for your research presentation.